Fox Squad, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will be showing you how to create mini paper flowers for shadow box displays. I use my Cricut Air 2 to cut out the flower petals, butterflies, and leaves that I will be adding to the shadow box. I make the 3D butterflies by using two butterflies, one solid butterfly and one with the details cut out. To assemble the butterflies, I line them up to make sure they are even then slightly fold back the wings and place a small amount of glue in the center. Once the two cutouts are glued together, I fold the wings back a little further to give the 3D effect. I prep the flower petals by using a bone folder to slightly curl the sides of each petal. For the smaller petals, I use a wooden dowel to curl the petal by rolling the sides around the dowel as you will see once I get to the smaller petals. But here, I am just slightly curling under the each petal with the bone folder and then I'll turn the flower petal over and do the other side. All of the flower petals prepped. I line the smaller flower up in between the petals of the larger flower to make sure that the flower doesn't have any gaps and I repeat this step for all of the flower petals. I slightly bend the flower petals up so that the flower isn't laying so flat and the flower actually has that um, real look like a 3D flower effect.
to be adding pearl beads as the paper flower center. So as you see here, I have the different sizes set out um, as well as different colors. So let's go ahead and add those in and see how gorgeous they're going to look. To prep the smaller flowers, I'm going to be using the wooden dowel to curl the paper flower ends. Now with these flowers, with the heart-shaped petals, I curled them in different directions to give the flowers a different look as you will see in the end when I display all of the smaller ones that I created. So now I am just laying the flowers out on the backboard of the shadow box just to decide how I would like the flowers to display. I'm starting with the larger flowers and then just filling in the gaps with the smaller flowers, the butterflies and the leaves. Once I have the shadow box arranged nicely and decide that is what I want to go with, I go ahead and glue the flowers and everything down to the backboard. Thank you for watching. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you're notified each time I uploaded a video. If you like the shadow box, go ahead and leave me a comment and give me a thumbs up. Thanks again for watching. Be blessed.